What's up, guys, and welcome to V University. I'm your host, Ben Myers, and today we're going to be talking about why delivery color space is so important when shooting inside of an LED volume. So sit back, relax, grab a pen and paper, or whatever you kids are using these days, and get ready to take some notes because class is in session. All right, welcome in, everyone. Uh, grab a seat, please. Uh, put your phones away. No texting in class. So let's uh, jump right into the video. So recently, we were fortunate enough to have Johan Zell, one of the world's leading color scientists and chair of the Hollywood Professional Association, come and tour our facility. Johan audited our color science and reported that we are capable of delivering in an HDR Rec 2020 color space, whereas most others deliver in an SDR Rec 709 color space. What you are looking at is known as a chromaticity diagram. Chromaticity is just a way for us to map colors regardless of their luminance. On this diagram, you can see the visible spectrum locus, which basically just shows you the entire visible spectrum of light. We have Rec. 709, Rec. 2020, and the View Big Stage. Now, Rec. 709 is one of the most commonly used display color spaces. That's probably what you're looking at right now on your phone or your TV or wherever you're watching this. And Rec. 2020 is a wider color space. It displays more colors. The important thing to note here is that the corners of the View Big Stage Triangle comes very, very close to the corners of the Rec. 2020 Triangle. Now, the reason this is so important in a virtual production is because we are faced with different set of challenges than in a normal studio environment. Colors in a virtual production studio using LED technology like the wall behind me aren't always what they appear to be. This is by design because each LED pixel contains a mixture of red, green, and blue to create the colors that you see. This white, for instance, is not pure white in the sense of like this key light or daylight. It does not contain the full spectrum of light. It is just that very specific mixture of red, green, and blue to appear to be white. Now, this might not be super obvious to the human eye, but camera sensors are much more likely to pick up on any discrepancies in color. So now I'd like to show you guys a couple of examples to help better illustrate the difference between light being emitted from these LEDs and light being emitted from this LED. But first, how crazy is it that I'm running this wall off of a 13-inch MacBook Pro? So, up first we have white light being emitted from the wall. Again, this white is a mixture of red, green, and blue to appear to be white. It does not contain the full visible spectrum of light, and therefore when it interacts with objects such as skin, it can render undesirable colors. Up next we have the Aperture 600D Pro, which is a different kind of LED. This LED is being used as a key light, and its purpose is to try to mimic sunlight, which contains the full visible spectrum of light, so that when it interacts with objects such as skin, it renders desirable colors. So one thing that we have noticed shooting inside the volume is it is actually better to try to get the wall as close to that final pixel image as possible, which means that you guys can have fun pushing the colors around on set rather than waiting until post. Alright guys, that's all we have for you today. Hopefully you learned something. If you are as passionate about virtual production, technology, and honestly just life in general, then you have come to the right channel and we're so happy that you're here. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can stay up to date. Hit the bell for notifications. And if you guys have any suggestions on topics that you would like us to cover in a future video, let us know down in the comments below. Alright, see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>